Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be going through all my sketchbooks from 2020. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit faster flip through than my normal sketchbook tours. Uh, this is kind of a way to kind of see what I've worked on throughout the year. Uh, I'm gonna pick out some of my favorite illustrations. Um, and you, I encourage you guys to do the same. Let me know which ones you like the best. Uh, this isn't all the artwork I did in 2020. This is just my sketchbooks. Um, a lot of sketch covers, uh, comic book cover I did and stuff like that aren't going to be including this. So it should be fun and like I said, a much quicker flip through. Um, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, this first sketchbook is pen and ink. So I used brush pens um, to do all the illustrations and predominantly all these illustrations are done without any kind of pencil sketch underneath. Uh, these sketches definitely got me started um, using markers and the big pens that I currently use uh, without pencil sketching. Um, so I gained a lot of confidence, confidence during this sketchbook uh, to kind of pursue uh, the style I'm using now. Uh, one big thing that I did pull from this time period in my sketchbooks is kind of the cell shading and shading with markers. Uh, I didn't have a full color range of markers at this point, um, but this definitely helped kind of lead me into the style of artwork that I'm currently doing in my sketchbooks, which you'll see a little bit later. Um, but I had a, th this style of art I love. I love pen and ink. Um, the artist I was really following, and I still follow a lot, is Carl Kapinski, Kim Jong, uh, where they do illustration work uh, with no pencil, well, Carl kind of does. Um, and I'm not saying doing under sketches with pencil is bad or anything. It was, it's just kind of a challenge. It's when you're working on um, pen and ink, you don't, you know, you're not too worried about like making mistakes. I mean, you got to have it perfect, but if you make a mistake, you should try and fix it instead of redrawing things over and over again. Uh, there is some pencil sketches mixed in here. Uh, this was a illustration that I really did like. It was reminded me a lot of Carl Kapinski's natural faces. I love uh, the naturalism in his illustrations. They're amazing. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, I would definitely suggest checking out his work. Uh, this one later inspired a Batman comic book cover. Uh, any of the covers that I did, which I think I did like 20 or more um, last year, uh, you can see all those on sketchytrab.com, my website. They're all sold out because I sold them. Um, but if you're curious to see what those look like, you can check them out there. Some faces, uh, pencil faces. Thundercats. I love this. I like this drawing a lot. This is one of my faves. Um, Gwen, or, uh, <laughs> Harley Quinn. She was super popular at the time. She looks like Madonna. Uh, this, I started using some gray marker, and I really liked the gray for shadows and stuff. It's really, um, at this time of my sketchbooks, I, I was really happy with kind of the sketches I was doing. Um, yeah, so this is Betty Page. I did some sketch covers of her, so these were kind of uh, pre preliminary sketches for that cover. Some fashion sketches I did of my wife. Random creature. Soldiers. This was for a sketch cover I did of Venom. This was kind of a preliminary sketch before. I try and do at least a pre preliminary sketch. Uh, a lot of you guys saw this video. You can watch this one. Um, this was a redraw of my daughter's artwork. Some random facial expressions with pen and ink. Some, I call these doodle pages where I just sketch random doodles. There's no coherence, just ideas. This, well, I was kind of working on mechanical stuff. Uh, this was for a competition. I did a bunch of these like monster sketches. Uh, they were a heck of a lot of fun. This really, I got involved in uh, the markers type stuff and it kind of pushed me into the future stuff that you guys will see. So see a few of these monsters. These more monster sketches. Uh, Pinup style stuff. This was for um, some sketch covers I was gonna work on. Doodle page. Pencil sketches. This is a fun little page where I just worked on kind of smaller comic book type scenes and action sequences. 
Inuyasha, kind of an alien spaceship scenario. Ninja Turtles, more faces. These are random, just pictures I looked at. Robot studies. Random character concepts. Got a little darker with this one, kind of cool. That's it for that sketchbook. Uh, so this was kind of, actually this actually happened before that, but I hadn't finished the sketchbook. So these are some older sketches that I was doing with the pen and ink that kind of led into that last one we were looking at. Same with these. But this is the start of the big pins and uh, markers. So I start out just with big pins. And on tone tan paper, I'm sure you guys are familiar, most of you anyway, with how I do these, just big pin and highlighter jelly roller pen um, to do these. Uh, this sketch, actually this sketch sequence, all this sketchbook really took off. I think this is the one that has like uh, almost like 300,000 views or something like that. So this was one of the sketchbooks that a lot of people saw. Just some random character concept ideas. Uh, I did a little bit more work on that one, more character concepts. I bounce around with the blue and red um, big pens just to give the uh, sketchbook a little bit of variety so it's not all red. Random cartoony little characters, face studies, figure studies, figure drawing. This was a redraw I did uh, for one of my daughter's um, piece of artwork for a competition. That was kind of fun, kind of a fairy girl. It was okay. Some celebrity face sketches. Just looked at some pictures, Clint Eastwood, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, some alien concepts. Turtle art. Random doodle sketches of people. Like orc guy sketch. This is, you can start to see me integrate the markers. Uh, the first markers I was working with were Copics, um, and I have a bunch of these, and I like them. They are a little bit lighter than uh, some of the current ones that I'm using, which are Ohuhu, which are a lot cheaper though. Uh, it's kind of some monster sketches. One Punch Man, which I think might be my favorite anime. So, did a sketch of him. Some fairy concepts, monster concepts. I don't like to use black Big Pen. A whole lot. In fact, you rarely see it. You know, Yasha and the Pervy Sage. More. This is actually a bad drawing. Her eyes too close on this right side, but it was kind of a nice uh, taking the big pens a little bit further in realism. Random sketches. Weird little guy. Cat girl, she's kind of creepy. I like this sketch. Some random character concepts, pretty rough. More. I like this one. I like the subtlety of the green big pin. This is all big pin. Um, I don't think there's any marker on this one. Nope. So this one, I I pushed, you know, how I could render with the big pins a little bit more on this one. Full marker, kind of character idea, kind of like a futuristic, or not futuristic, but. Uh, Han Solo, maybe, bar scene. Oh, here's some, I like these uh, jelly roller, colored jelly roller pen kind of things. They're pretty cool. A little fight scene, it's okay. That's a random, I could tell I was struggling on this day. This was a struggle. <laughs> I was just trying to draw. I was doing some uh, Boba Fett sketches. I did actually videos on these, so if you wanna watch me draw these, you can check my channel. Uh, Vampirella, more Boba Fett, did this one as well on a video, so you can watch me draw that one. Uh, this kind of robot cyborg guy, I love the colors on this. I really started doing this a lot more after this sketch. This one's okay, kind of, I don't know if I love the color scheme on this one, but definitely took time on it. It's another sketchbook, all done. So this is gray paper, uh, so it gives you a little bit different um, look than, you know, the tone tan. 
but I like it. It's a nice change of pace. And for this one, I did uh, anime sketches, kind of in my style. Uh, so Sailor Moon, this was the one that started this whole sketch sequence. And everybody was kind of redrawing Sailor Moon in their style. So I decided to do it. And I ended up doing a whole themed sketchbook with all anime characters. So Goku, obviously I'm going way more with the markers now on these. And there's actually colored pencil mixed in with these as well. Kill a kill, death note. And I do um, all these sketches and sketchbooks you'll see in my independent or my one-off sketchbook tours that I did. So you can just hear me talk about each one of these sketches and those if you wanna go back. I love this sketch. This is one of my favorites. So I might come back to this one at the end, kind of talk about that one a little bit more. Some fairy concept sketches, fairy fantasy character sketches, more fantasy. Some fantasy warrior, I don't know, kind of interesting. So that was it for that. That wasn't, I didn't do a whole lot in the gray. Some fantasy character sketches. These was just to get kind of rolling. Kind of a warrior fantasy sketch. More fantasy character ideas. Fantasy character, that one's creepy. This one, I like how vibrant it is. I love that pink, I use that pink a lot. Uh, again, there's colored pencil for the skin tone on this one. I, I, I uh, Looking at this now, it reminds me how much I like that colored pencil for skin tones. It has a different texture to it too, which I like. So I might use that in my recent sketchbooks. I just like it. Kind of a weird skeleton, undead warrior. Weird fantasy creature. Uh, this one's, uh, yeah. <laughs> evil, or I don't know if it's evil, but weird unicorn creature. Sci-fi character concept ideas. Doodle page. Uh, boxer girl with that pink again. I couldn't get away from the pink. I just loved how it looked on the page, as you can see. Uh, I don't like that sketch very much. Or that one. I like that one, though. Kind of fun. I need to experiment with crazier expressions. They just give more life to the illustration. A lot of times you just draw regular faces all the time, and it's, you know... It's better to push yourself a little bit. Random sci-fi sketches, more. I like her, that's a good sketch. So is that, these are, I, this is a good page. It's random what pages I like. I'm sure you guys see them differently, but I just, I feel like uh, I had an on day for these. The, I started working on the Mars Attack sketches quite a bit for this, uh, cause I was doing the comic book uh, the Mars, you can check it out on my website. Um, and you can actually still buy these signed copies by me on my website. So if you're interested, um, I did a comic cover for those. Another Naruto sketch. That one's kind of weird. Cat girl. I did some brush pen work for a little bit. Uh, this is definitely a much more rendered kind of alien Star Wars type character that I did. Um, I definitely spent a lot more time on this one. I love all the texture on this one. It's kind of a cool sketch. Definitely, I think maybe one of my top tens. Random sketch page. Got a whole guy. Monsters, Speed Girl, which is kind of cool. Uh, random face sketches. Uh, this was my version of Hunter x Hunter. Um, can't think of his name right now, but uh, has an older version. It's okay. Weird characters, future sci-fi characters, maybe. Uh, that's random. Alien concept. Fantasy. Monster guys, just a random guy. This is a, yeah. So that's it for that sketchbook. Uh, this is a weird little robot sketch. 
kind of interesting. Ooh, random sketch day again. Ugh, I hate his body in this. Doesn't even look like he's standing on anything. It's terrible. Some random face sketches. Sometimes I just sketch to sketch. That's a lot of the stuff. When I flip back through it, I see how many times I do that where I just need to put pen on paper kind of thing. Brush pen, terrible sketches. Well, this is, I like this style. This is kind of a cool brush pen with the markers and the big pens. I did a few of these that I liked a lot. Another one of those. It has more contrast because of the brush pen than some of my other work. These are just kind of weird character concepts or sci-fi alien concepts. Another one. Definitely have to come back to this a little bit with the brush pens, kind of mix the two. Weird robot guy. Robot girl. Mushroom guy, he's kind of cool. Yeah, I definitely need to experiment with the brush pens and the markers and the big pens a little bit more. Normally don't draw stuff like this, so this was kind of a nice departure. Their little robot guy. Definitely a more elaborate. This is one of my top sketches from last year for sure. So that's in the top 10. Uh, Predator, a lot of detail. I mean, it's just a sketch page, so it's not like a piece of artwork with composition or anything. Um, so, but it is what it is, but I definitely spent a lot of time rendering that. Random little character sketch. I bought a one wheel last year, and so I did this sketch. One wheels are super fun. If you don't know, I ride mine like at least a couple times a week, uh, and they're a blast. A little bit of sci-fi sketches. Science or uh, fantasy little fairy sketches. Kind of fantasy stuff. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, <laughs> just kidding, I don't know who he is. Just random character sketch. Um, I never finished this one. A lot of these I never finished. You see her, her arm is totally unfinished, stuff like that. So I like her expression on her face. This one's kind of interesting. Make a cool tattoo maybe. Pumpkin guy from Halloween. Some weird character monster sketches. Kind of an action sequence. I need to do more of this type of stuff where I draw action, not just characters standing there. In fact, a lot of my sketchbook is more concept poses and stuff, and I should be doing more interesting action, entertainment-based sketches, I think. I wanna go more in that direction. Uh, this is random sketches of Neil Tyson DeGrasse. That one's a weird one. Alien, Jedi or Sith or something. This one's random. Little demon guy with some fairies. Uh, this was kind of a concept for a Mandalorian type character. Obviously brighter colors. I like the headpiece though on that one. Um, this is, I don't know who she is. This was, I remember this was a random sketch, but it kind of reminds me of uh, Steven Universe or something like that. There's some just sketches, random characters. I like this page though. All, every, I was on on this page for sure. Another one like that. So this was the start of all the Mandalorian sketches I did. So me and my girls were watching Mandalorian a lot. So I did a whole sketchbook on Mandalorian stuff. So these are more action scenes from maybe like a show or hypotheticals and stuff like that. See Baby Yoda out there. Mm, she's no longer a part of the show, but uh, yeah, kind of an interesting, I should have finished this one. This is a, I like this drawing. Baby Yoda as Mandalorian, kind of cool. Maybe some creatures in the Mandalorian, Mandalorian's war, or world, I should say. Oh, well, that's his, I remember this, he was like blowing us, his head off, kinda. Baby Yoda killing a bunch of stormtroopers. Melting Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> uh, this was a more realistic Mandalorian helmet that I did. Uh, you can watch me draw this one. This was an illustration I did. Uh, 
just kind of showing you guys my process. So that's a previous video. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. Actually, you know what? You guys never saw this sketch. These are sketches I did um, when I was kind of taking a break. So these are kind of new sketches actually. Never finished this one. That's a weird kind of alien guy. Some concept sketches. And that is it. So I just picked out a few of the drawings, um, one drawing from each of the sketchbooks to kind of show you guys my favorites and why I like them so much. Uh, I like this sketch a lot. Um, I like her pose. I like the random characters in it. Uh, this little fairy kind of up here. I'm just, I feel like um, as far as the anatomy and the line work, especially on this, I love the thick lines. I like that I didn't get too tight with it though as well. Um, so it's one of my favorite sketches. Uh, and the idea behind this sketch too was this guy is kind of her, like her little uh, companion guy that carries all the gear and that's her sword and she's the fighter. Um, and I, then I just liked the mix ma uh, mismatch of all the kind of the armor and stuff. Uh, so this was one of my favorite sketches from that pen and ink sketchbook. Uh, this sketch I really like. It looks rough. It uses the big pens really well uh, to render the figure. Um, and I like that background piece. This felt like a really finished piece of artwork. I liked her pose and everything. Um, and it was just fresh enough to where it's got some liveliness to it. Um, so yeah, this was one of my favorite big pin sketches that I did. From the anime sketchbook, I had a lot of good ones from this one, but for whatever reason, I think it's her face and just uh, her body language, everything on this one, I really like this one um, and can't really why I like it so much. Uh, I don't know, but it's just one of my favorites. So, and I always come back to this with this one. Uh, this one, love all the textures in it. Um, the character is kind of cool, I guess. He's just kind of weird. Uh, the armor's okay, but I just love the texture and all the different colors, the way they work together on this one. Uh, so this was definitely one of my favorites. Um, you know, there's a lot of them that I like, but I just had to pick out some, so. Uh, and then for similar reasons, this Predator sketch, uh, I like how fully rendered it is. There's a lot of different colors, but they work well together. I like the greens um, and the tans and the browns, they kind of all work. Uh, I like, you know, he came out looking pretty cool. So yeah, so that's my uh, favorite ones from the sketchbooks. Uh, let me know your guys's. I'm kind of curious to see which ones you guys like the best and why. Um, and anyway, yeah, uh, this, like I said, this is kind of like a little time capsule video for me so I can just go back and watch one video and kind of check out all the sketches. So, uh, hope you guys like this video and I will catch you guys later.